okay so now what i want you to do is um, so uh, we will look at the analysis later but what i'm trying to do is that there are certain type of files called parquet some of you might be knowing it parquet is compression and hive is excellent at storing parquet files so sometimes when you get data from hive and it will be parquet data right so how do you read parquet into uh, spark one question second question how can i run queries without using sql like right now what we did is sql queries i don't want to use sql i want to use python just query the data so this this folder will be shared with you right now names.parquet if i open this what is inside this uh, this is how the parquet files will look like this is the file actually this is the metadata of the file okay and if you try to open the file one of the file it will throw error it should throw error ideally come on at least throw an error for that it is taking this much time okay yeah you can't read by the way that's what i meant uh, it won't display the content or anything so parquet files by default you cannot open in notepad or anything you have to use some system to read it and that's what we are going to do uh, so i will just check whether i can read the data first okay uh, my data is actually in a folder called raghu okay here you have a file called folder called names.parquet right and i open this python script okay again you have to use the shell so we already have the shell right and how do you read parquet file very simple you will say spark.read.parquet it will it'll come it's warning everybody is trying to read right i think it read df dot show yeah so uh, so sometimes another problem is that uh, parquet files inherently has lot of problems you will get lot of warnings and errors when you try to access the metadata so when i read also i got it so this is the data that we have you have first name gender total year right so what is this data these are the names of babies born in a year and how many were born like there were 54336 jennifers in 1983 born like us state data it is um can you read try so you have to give this location how you have to say uh the folder where the data is there how many of you can read parquet you can read right so that means the command is working can you also do a df dot count it is there in the python file to see how many uh, rows are there df dot count 18 lakh right uh, so df dot count should give you what 18 lakhs good but <laughs> i have to wait so 1.8 million records we have ah it came here i didn't see <laughs> huh? do you think there will be a difference if they open a jupiter i don't think so right so around 18 lakhs uh, records are there you can see here right so i did a df dot uh, count you can also do a df dot print schema control z and you can see there is a first name gender total year so these are the different columns we have right so these are the columns we have in the data actually and what is that we want to do so if you want to select let's say specific columns you can do a df dot select there is a select command very much like uh, your uh, uh, rdbms you can simply say df dot select first name year and then if you do a first names df dot show 
you should you should see only the two columns you selected right so select command is uh, very common like what you do in sql you can say i want only these rows right you can also count it okay you can also say i want to count distinct so the names will be repeating every year right so i can say i want to do a distinct count so let it show the output df dot uh, select distinct count like these names will be repeating right every year there will be somebody with mary so i can say distinct how many names are there 93889 anyway uh, let me do one thing um, i will just show you couple of things related to uh, the python analysis okay you can also run it for those who are having access can run it with me no problem i think some of the people's shell is down okay uh, but don't worry the same commands will work you have access to the cluster anyway right so what i did just now is that i just do, did this right now if you want to find out something like this view word wrap let's say you want to uh, find something like this original data frame to find the five most popular names of girls born in 1980 you want to find out the top five female names in 1980 the query looks pretty much like a sql query so if i copy this see all you are doing is that you are saying that filter and from the data frame year equal to 1980 gender equal to female order by a uh, total in descending and then you want first name select first name limit 5 so if i run this qu query and if i do a popular dot show it should ideally show me show me the popular names right so look at the query so if you look at the query uh, do you find it is very similar to your sql query very very similar right because you have a filter close you are in order by uh, the only thing is that every time you are using this df df that is a name of your uh, data frame that you have created you can also use the dollar projection sql you have a dollar interpolator right i think i wrote it here somewhere you can also say like this uh, no it's not there i wrote it somewhere it is not here instead of saying everywhere df df you can say dollar and as this column you can say project it so running filter queries or order by queries this uh, ordering them in the descending order everything is easy it's like a python code here also you can do same thing same thing ha huh? i wrote it somewhere i don't have it here you can try it yourself scala the difference will be this will be three equal the ha huh, this equal to operator right so this is not assignment assignment is single equal uh, this is what comparison operator if you are writing the same query in scala you will need three equal symbols for comparison that is a major difference apart from that the query will be very similar no difference at all right now uh, let's uh, try to do something interesting okay so how popular were the top 10 female names of 2010 back in 1930 so let's say you want to understand this you want to find out the top 10 female names of 1930 and then 2010 and then you just just want to compare them how popular now obviously if i want to do this the first step will be i have to filter the data of all the female names of 2010 then female names of 1930 and then i'll do a join and then i say whether it is good or bad right now you can also write your own udf functions in uh, uh, spark sql user defined functions right to do that you just have to import this udf so i'm just saying that from pyspark sql functions import udf udf or user defined functions will allow you to write your own functions in spark rather than using uh, sparks functionality right and why did i import this because i am just creating a simple function called lower here you can see so lower is a function uh, what it will do it will take any any name whatever you give and just do a s dot lower it will convert to lower lower letters right 
just to show you that it is possible and once you have this what you can do is that I am creating a data frame called uh, 2010. So, I am saying that I want to filter uh, where year is 2010 and uh, total as there is a column called total 2010, gender I will call it as gender 2010, first name as first name 2010 and I will pass this function lower, I will convert the first name to lower case and I will call this column as name 2010. So, you see you are using aliasing here, you are creating a new data frame but you say alias, 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 every column name you are renaming it only difference you are calling this lower UDF function and filtering it with the year 2010. So, this will create a data frame called SSN 2010 where you have all the uh, you know uh, names right of people and we will also create one more for 1930. So, here I am saying that again same stuff the year is only different 1930. And once you have both these data frames, look at the join query. The join query also looks pretty same. So, in the join what I have written, I said filter. So, this filter could have been written before, but I wrote it here. Okay. Filter where the gender equal to female and I want to join this was 1930 where also the uh, filter is again female. And I want to match the name thing, okay. Order by total limit 10, top 10 female names. And if I actually want to run the query, I have to do a show, I have to do a join dot show. And that is so again, it is lazy evaluation, right? If you write a join query, it will not run the join query. You have to say dot show to fire the execution and it will do the join. Uh, but we are operating at around 18 lakhs of data, right? There actually we filtered it, but the amount of rows we have is around 18 lakhs, but still it is able to process the parquet data. We will see how popular it is. I think here it is taking a bit of time anyway. Hmm. So, join query you are writing like this. So, this filter is actually not required. You can filter above. I wrote it here. Already when you are creating your data frame, you could have filtered. So, in join what you are saying, you are saying that this is first data set SSN 2010 or first data frame. Second data frame is 1930. Okay? Uh, and this is the column. From here, the column is name 2010. From here, the column is name 1930. This is your common column. So, when you are doing a join, you say using this column, right? Common, you say a dot a dot b dot b dot then you give the column so this is a column ha ah, condition so this name column same name right because you want to understand how the name distribution is there right and then what you do you do an order by total in the descending order so that the top names will come you join by name then you say order by descending the total count so that if mary is the most popular name it will come at the top actually and you say limit 10 because you want only top 10 and then you are just aliasing you want to project the column right whichever you want so you say first name as name then total so it should show here yeah so these are the aliases we have and this is the column we projected so it seems it seems isabella this there are 22000 people here there are only 142 here right so i think elizabeth is a very common name uh, among even in 2010 and 1930 both places you have almost similar right apart from that all other names are like very less here and here you have n number of people with the same name right so join queries and all look very similar to your sql okay but maybe if you are more comfortable in sql you want to write it in sql like usually if i give you this data i don't think you will write it like this i think you will create a table and then you will say join that is easy for you, but my point is that you can actually write it like this also if you want. If you want to practice this what we did first we read the data right this is parquet how you are reading it. If you want you can cache the data that is optional right then what we did we selected only the first name and year right this you remember and then we did a count we understood total how many records are there and this was the query where 
what uh, we were trying to find the five most popular names for girls born in 1980 so it's a simple query and then what i did we wanted to try joins okay so we created a udf first for converting to lower uh, case okay and then i find found out all the people who are born in year 2010 all the people who were born in 1930 and here is my join query right so like i said uh, these parts are over you have reading from rdd reading from this and if you want to read from csv uh, there are two ways one is that you can say spark.read.csv give the csv file like json it will read uh, but previously we did not had that option it came now okay when when i started writing like code long back we had to use a third party package from databricks so databricks has a package which will help you to read so you have to download that package add it then only you will be able to read but this time you can directly say spark.read.csv it is going to read 